So, I finally got to look at Ryotaka Masaki's newest Rockman EXE manga, titled Forte, Time of Reunion. And by look at, I mean just that. I looked at the art on the pages, but I can't read it yet because it hasn't been translated. Credit to Rockman Scans for sharing these pages with the public. But here's an overview of what I can tell without reading the text. Be advised, there are going to be spoilers for the Mega Man NT Warrior manga here, so consider that your warning. The story seems to take place after Mega Man's return, following the events of The Pair's Journey, as well as the final main chapter of NT Warrior, but it does seem to take place before the Legendary Berserker and the NT Warrior Super Legend bonus chapters, those of which contain an extra story depicting a battle with a new threat called the Devil Virus, and a duel between Mega Man and Proto Man that gets to Dragon Ball Z levels of absurd. So we open up on Search Man, looking quite beat up, and he's accompanied by some other Sharo Soldier navvies. They seem to be in the same location that Mega Man and Base were during The Pair's Journey. They encounter Base, and Search Man prepares to fight, but Base simply walks past them. We then see Lan and Mega Man rushing somewhere, most likely to meet up with their dad, and Lan has an ice cream cone. He slips and drops it, and his P.E.T., which is caught by Shod. Lan is upset that his ice cream is ruined. After a scuffle, Lan and Shod arrive at Scilab, and Dr. Ikari seems to be telling us of a new technology that will allow navvies to materialize in the real world, which I guess is similar to the dimensional areas from the anime. We see Mega Man, Proto Man, and Search Man all materialize in the same room with their operators. The next few pages, I can't tell what's being said, but based on the imagery, it looks like they're talking about Dr. Cossack, the man who created Base. And from the looks of it, it seems that he's in poor health. Some more pages I can't read, and then we see Mega Man and Proto Man venturing into the cyber world, and I assume that they're looking for Base, since his name is in the chapter title, after all. The search seems to take days, as we see Mega Man and Proto Man trekking through all kinds of terrain, and a lot of time seems to be passing. Eventually, Mega Man and Proto Man happen upon not Base, but Serenade, somehow back from deletion. If I had to venture a guess before reading a translation, if they explain it at all, I would guess that, even though Serenade was deleted and absorbed by Base GS, when the Psy Beasts were absorbing the Earth, we could see the spirits of all Mega Man's friends helping him during the final battle, despite them having already been absorbed. Serenade shows up as well, and Base then says to Mega Man, Everything I've gained in my life, I'm giving it to you. So, I think that in that moment, Serenade was released from Base's data, and could reform later. So, the three have a sparring match, with Serenade easily not taking so much as a scratch from the two, though Proto Man does manage to destroy Serenade's Rhymant, which is used for reflecting attacks. After the match, Serenade recaps how they had a battle with Base previously, and how Dr. Cossack wants to see Base again. This was covered in the bonus chapter, Forte and Serenade, The Legendary Battle. So, Serenade departs, and Mega Man and Proto Man continue their quest. They eventually do come across Base, and I can only guess that they're trying to take him back alive instead of deleting him. And, as a nice throwback to the previous battles with Base, we see Proto Man assume his Muramasa style, and Mega Man enters Hub style, and then the ultimate fanfic transformation, Hub Muramasa style Proto Soul. This is so silly, but I love it. But, Base isn't willing to go down so easily, summoning the Great Virus Beast's head to counter Muramasa. Eventually, Base gets tired of beating up Mega Man, and after some convincing, Base accompanies Mega Man and Proto Man to what I think is the Sharo area of the Cyber World. They enter a rather fancy looking building and find Dr. Cossack on his deathbed. This is the first time since before the Alpha Revolt that Base has seen Dr. Cossack more or less in person. I'm not entirely sure if the Navis are in the real world here, or if Dr. Cossack's mind is in the Cyber World. Given the imagery from earlier, I'm going to assume the latter. And so, we have a touching reunion of father and son. This image is just so wholesome and precious. Afterward, Base leaves, but I'm not sure what his departing words are. Then, Rika gives Lan and Shod some medals for some reason. Lan seems dissatisfied with his, and Shod seems indifferent, though Mega Man seems to like his. And that's where it ends off. While this manga does kind of break the stone-faced, badass visage that Base.exe has the reputation of touting, I'm actually more than okay with how this turned out, and it makes me very happy. The manga version of Base, by far, has had the best development compared to his other counterparts, which I will likely do a video on later. But to sum up my feelings of the character, I will use a paraphrased version of one of Arthur Helsing's quotes from Helsing Ultimate. To me, these frightening monsters are just frail, sobbing children. We see Base go through so much throughout the course of the manga, and he finally seems to get some closure and make things right with his creator. I would say that that's the best outcome we could hope for for this character. But what do you think? Do you like that Base got reunited with Dr. Cossack again? How did Serenade come back to life? Do you think Ryo Takamasaki will make more EXE manga, or is this his last hurrah? Leave your thoughts in the comments below.